Okay, this will be the final installment of the um, installing the antenna. I got it working pretty good. Um, this is the box I got. I'll show this here. It's called a um, Centronics ZAT 502HD Digital ATSC HD slash SD TV tuner. And uh, these are the features it has. See if you can see that okay. And I got this from a place called Summit Source, and it's a pretty good good company. Um, I got an HD picture on here now. I want to tell you this company was really great. They gave me a. Um, gave me a free gift when I bought it. They gave me a RCA Universal remote and I'll uh, probably end up using this because I have a lot of remotes now. I thought that was pretty cool when I ordered the box and it was a big surprise. You know, they actually uh, had, a, had a free gift, you know, like for free. <laughs> so um, I don't work for these people. But I thought it was a good company to do something like that. So, I got got it hooked up, and the picture is like really fantastic. And uh, let's see, it says HD there. I think I actually hit hit a button here by mistake. Let's see. Is that there? DVD. That's the Roku box, DVD, HD. You know what I did? I turned the box off here. Must be losing it. I turned the satellite box back on, or the ATSC box, terrestrial box. Okay, there it is. So, I'm just gonna like scroll through, and uh, here's 2.1. This is a um, Atlanta station. I'm, I'm I'm about 20 miles away from the tower, and this station was more south southeast. But I have moved the antenna, so it's maybe a little more east southeast. And because I wanted to get this station here, I wanted to get the Fox station. And see, I could use the remote control. To um, to see what what it's actually doing, like in resolution. See, so watch this. Here's that, and we go to setup and select screen setting. And if you look there, it says um, current video 720p. And 1080i is the output of the of the box of the ATSC box, and I'm noticing that I've been reading about this too. That I guess there isn't a precise standard uh, anymore for broadcasting because some stations do 720p for high def, and other stations do um, 1080i. And other stations are just broadcasting in like 480i or 480p. So I'm going to scroll through here. Now this is a um, public television station here. And it's, it's really good, but when I check it, go, I'll go back to this uh, the screen setting here. And it's, it's, it's in high def. Current video is 1080i and display output is 1080i. So this this is what I got plugged into the component ports of this set, and you know it's working really good. And what I wanted to show you this here is that I could select this button down here on the on the Centronics box, and it's it's a good box because if you notice the single strength is 37% because I'm still getting attenuation of like like 20% through the cabling which I haven't figured out why yet 
but it locks in good. The signal quality is 100%. So the box is able to really lock into it, and even with a single strength 37%, it's, it's locked in good. So, um, got this station here. Oh, I wanted to show you this too. This is like this Me TV. They show a lot of retro stuff. Now this format isn't right because it really should be four by three. So the, the beauty of um, of this television is that this 40 inch CRT TV is that see it crunches from the top, it crunches from the bottom, you know, to get like your uh, nine by 16 format. But you see, I could switch it using this this button here on this uh, Centronics box. It changes the output, and there it goes. That's 480i, and 480i goes to 4x3 uh, resolution. But back up on this a little bit here. See, now I got the whole the whole 4x3 picture, just like it was really intended for the retro stuff. With 40 inch screen and whatever this show is, but it's got 40 inch diagonal measure and it's, oops, sorry, it's a great picture. And I could check the, um, the single strength and all that, but for these lower bit rates, um, see the single strength is 38% and the single quality is 100%, so it's like really locked in, but the picture is good. I mean, even in uh, 480i, it's a good picture. So, let's see, I'll scroll through some more channels here. Now, that's the Fox one, but i got to put it back into um, the high-def mode. So, I'll use this button here. Now, that's 720p that the TV doesn't understand. So, I have to switch, it, switch the output of the Centronics box to 1080i. And there's the high def picture. It's 720p, but that's what the station's broadcasting in 720p. And you know, I really like looking at the high def pictures. It's it's working really well. There's some GPB, and I noticed that at nighttime it works a lot better. I don't get any pixelation or any sound drops out at nighttime. But in the afternoon, I think when people are coming home from work and we're kind of like at sort of a bottom of a little hill, I think the cars could be messing up the single, like with a multipath. And uh, see, that picture isn't isn't that great. Some some of the lower bitrate stations aren't really. Well, actually, that's like BBC World News, so that's some kind of satellite link they're using to just demonstrate it. I noticed there's some stations like like this one here it says waiting. I'm not getting any station. But when I when I hit this button on this Centronics thing, see it shows a single strength is thirty seven percent and single quality is a hundred percent. So what's going on is that they have a station that is up but they just have nothing on it. There's no um programming on it. So there's an NBC affiliate, so I could check out, let's see, that single strength is 54%, that's a pretty good single, but the signal quality is 100%. Now, I guess I could check, um, see what kind of uh, resolution this is doing. So that's 1080, see it's 1080i and 1080i. The, uh, the transmission is in 1080i and the display output is 1080i. So it's, it's a high def picture. It's really cool. So I'm pretty happy how it's working. They got like a weather thing there. And uh, wherever this is. And yeah, someone asked me they wanted to me to show what stations I was getting. This is something called Cubo. It's working pretty good. I mean, well, actually, it's working excellent. It's 
put it back. It's excellent. That's 36% uh, single strength, 100% single quality. The Centronics box really works well. I just wanted to keep mentioning it, but this ion. This is also a station here that single strength is there. Single quality is 100%, but they're not broadcasting anything. I mean, the, the carrier is up, but 14.2, same thing. 14.209, 14.3, Here's something on 17. It's like Family Guy. This is 42% uh, single strength, single quality, 100%. And then, uh, it's, it's working, like I said, a lot a lot better at night, like when the sun goes down, or like around dusk and the sun goes down. But in the afternoon, I think because of the cars going by, I think it was screwing up. It's kind of weird. And I'm really thinking, like, um, if it's going like rain outside, that all that rain on the roof is going to be attenuating the signal, like, even more. There's something called retro TV. So I, I guess I may need a, a booster could probably help somewhat like you see how this is pixelating on the top I think this this isn't the TV or the trans it's it's the something in the transmission you know it's like something screwed up at that station and they don't know how to fix it it's kind of weird And uh, got that there. Some kind of info station. Family TV. They got some crazy show on here. Oh, it looks like, um, I don't know, that's Hopalong Cassie, I think. See, this single strength's low, 12%. Single quality is 48%, 51%, but it's still holding in. It's a low, low bit rate station, but it's, it's still working, which I think is pretty amazing. Let's hop along, Cassidy, right? Cisco Kid. That's what this is in. This is Cisco Kid. That's, Cis, that's uh, Cisco's Kid. See, a little pixelation there. Cisco Kid. That's what this is. This is a weird station, PBJ. It's like peanut butter and jelly or something. They show a lot of stuff for kids on there. And uh, whatever this is, I'm crazy. Oh, that's the Mexican station, I think. And whatever that is, it's working pretty good. And wherever this is oh this has like audio it's like the transmitting audio the one thing I didn't like a bit about the box which I wanted to tell you is that it shows pure audio here but this never goes away so it, it would burn the screen on the CRT television but it, you know it wouldn't burn a screen on the LCD TV but you know, they didn't think about someone using it for a CRT TV. So, give us some volume here. Way to transform your next gathering or event. Pretty clear sound, actually. Custom -made it's radio station yeah, broadcast in there. So they got a lot of radio stations that are they're rebroadcasting. So I'm getting a lot of stations, you know, and they're pretty good. At, I mean, they're excellent at nighttime, but uh, like I said, in the afternoon they kind of pixelate a little. So that one's pixelating a little there. If I check it, that's uh, see 25% single strength, but only 
77% single coil weight, so that one's starting to break up a little. But, you know, I'm getting most of the stations, so I'm pretty happy. Got all the networks. This little bounce, this bounce on a sub channel here. Bounce network. Uh, this looks like another retro TV station. Oh, this is pixelating. So that one's pixelating. Oh, that looks like, um, that's that one with, uh, uh, too close for comfort. That's what that is. Remember that. But it's in the wrong format. I have to change the format for that. Put that to uh, wait a second. You scroll through the button, and I could get the five, the four by three. See now it's the four eighty i. That's how the picture's supposed to be. Yeah, and what's the drag? So I got to switch it back to. Uh, Gotta switch it back to 1080i output. That's pretty good, actually. That's a good picture. That's a really excellent picture. That's probably um, it's probably 1080i. See, yeah, it's 1080i uh, transmission and uh, 1080i output on on the Centronics box. So, so I got a couple more stations. No sense of going through the whole thing, but the HD picture is really phenomenal. The, this uh, Sony set works really good. And uh, oh yeah, I just want to show you this real quick. Um, move this camera, but um, I put this cabinet together, this black thing, and I'm gonna end up putting my uh, equipment in there that I got on top of the dead Toshiba and uh, put that in there and uh, I got the record player I could put in there and um, my buddy Ash in Canada told me that I should put wheels on the on the the base you know that holds this huge set the set weighs 240 pounds it's ridiculous but I'm going to build this up I'm going to put hardwood boards cut them like to fit the bottom of this thing and I'm gonna put wheels on that and flip it over and then get some people to help me out and then put the set on top of the stand where I could wheel it because right now it's still on this cart I made but uh, the picture is really phenomenal it's like a huge difference in HD and I really like the color this thing does I mean for a 10 year old set and it's it's really fantastic and the sound is real good because um, it has 15 watts per channel I think is what it was. Dental expert Dr. Crystal Baxter says infections are one of the leading causes of dental ducts. Alright well that's it folks. Uh, you have a great uh, day or night and uh, talk at you soon. Bye.